Welcome back everyone and uh, hello to new visitors. Professor Piyush here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add quick map services from Google Maps and other sources as well. So there are many methods to do that, but I will show you the fastest one. Let's begin. Currently, if I go to the web menu and drop down the quick map service, I can see Google Map services are reflected in the list, which may not be reflected in your list. If the Quick Map service plugin is not reflecting, then you need to install it. For that, go to the Plugins menu and select Manage and Install Plugins. It will open a plugin list menu. In the search bar, just type the Quick Map service and you will see that in the list. I have already installed it, so it's showing a tick mark in the box. For those who haven't installed it, it must be showing the install option here as shown on the screen. Now, when you go back to the web, the Quick Map Service plugin must be reflecting. Also, for you, it must not be showing so many map options like Google, NASA, ISRI, Bing and others, which you can see on your screen now. By default, it shows OSM, Open Street Map Service and few others. So how to bring all these map services shown on your screen? One method is by using the XYZ tile option in the browse panel. It's a little longer. I will explain this at the end of this video. But before that, there's another faster way to bring all map services in one click. Go to the web menu and under quick map services, look for settings. It will open the Quick Map Service setting dialog. It has various tabs included. You need to look for the More Services tab. Just ignore the Attention dialog. Below, there will be a button to get the contributed pack. Click it and make sure the internet connection is on. You will see a dialog saying the latest version of the contributed pack was downloaded. Click OK and don't forget to save. Now, when you go back to the web menu and open Quick Map Service, you will see in your QGIS, all map services shown on the screen right now must have been added automatically. All Google Maps menus will also be available. Let's bring the satellite map into QGIS using Google Maps. It has automatically synchronized with our map layers. Awesome. Let's off this layer and try something else. You can also access Quick Map Service from the icon here in the panel. If the icon is not here, right click in the panel and check the box of Quick Map Service from the list. Now let's bring the Google Hybrid Map in QGIS. And it's here, a map with all labels and roads with satellite imagery as well. There is another method to add Google Maps in QGIS by using XYZ tiles to link the map to QGIS. You will see an XYZ option in the list in the browser panel. In my drop down, an open street map is visible because I have connected it. In the same way, I need to connect to Google Maps. For that, right click and go for a new connection. You will see an XYZ connection dialog box, which asks for a name and URL address. The name, I will write new Google Maps because I have already imported Google Maps through Quick Map Services. For the URL, you have to go to the website socialgis.org. I have shared the link in the description as well. Here, you will see they have shown the step-by-step -step process of adding Google Maps in QGIS. You can follow from there as well. When you scroll down, you will find all the links to copy to import different Google Maps in QGIS. For example, if I want to connect Google's satellite image, I will copy the URL and go back to QGIS and paste it in the XYZ connection URL box and then click OK. Now in the drop down of XYZ, our new connection is visible. When you right click, it will give you different options which you can do about this layer. To bring it inside our workspace, 
just double click it and it will come in the layers panel. I will off the previous Google hybrid layer to see the new one. As the new layer is on the top, so it's hiding other map layers as well. Let's drag it down and bring it to the last. Now the layer is perfectly aligned. Similarly, you can copy other links and can make as many connections as you want. But this is a long process and for every map, you have to repeat the process again and again. If you have links for other sources like NASA, history, etc., you can link them as well. That's about it. I, I hope this small trick will help you in your workflow. See you again with similar videos. Keep watching and liking. Thanks.